Okay, so I've just given this a blast of compressed air just to get rid of the brush dust from it. And uh, from the com end, obviously the motor is going to look as if it's rotating clockwise. So we have to advance the brushes opposite to that, which means anti-clockwise. So I just came along here and I just put a little arrow in tip X that I want to push the brush ring that away. So I'm going to go ahead now and take out these little 6mm studs here and have to try and figure out the degrees of advance. That will be the next uh, fun packed episode. Okay. So we've got the four bolts out, you can see here, um, the way of it. So the idea is, we can see we can actually take out the brush plate entirely. See it's made from an uh, insulating material. And this is the, uh, this is the common cap here. And you can see they've actually stamped A here. And then we have A here. So, see part of the manufacturer. There's another code there for anyone that can identify this machine. Probably a casting code, really. So, anyway, uh, the plan here now is this. So there's our A and our A there. So the idea is that we want to move the brush plate this way by a pre-described amount. Um, so that's it at zero there. We want to kind of go about that much, I imagine. Um, generally, it's said about uh, about eight and twelve degrees. That's about what I hear. Um, I'm not sure of a particular way that I could actually measure this. Um, if if um, if anybody can come up with that, uh, it would be very helpful. Sort of putting a protractor in there or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to pretty much just say to myself, well, okay, there's, there's a line between uh, that hole there and that hole there. And uh, I've got a 90 degree there, so it's a 45 degree, we'll say, uh, between the two holders. So I would imagine that I'm going somewhere about there would be about 10 degrees, which is what I'm going to try to aim for. And uh, I've got to figure out now, I'm going to probably just, got that hole, I'm going to probably just uh, drill four new holes there in the, in the uh, material and bolt it back in. And that should be it. So, fingers crossed.